All right, guys, here's my Harbor Freight paint pot that I turned into a pressure pot for resin casting. I, when I first put it all together, I'd done pretty much like everybody on the uh, uh, YouTube does. I used the pressure regulator, all the fittings that it had with it, the elbow coming out of here. And once I got it all put together, I just didn't like it. And what I didn't like about it, with all this gommed up mess on it, these wing nuts hit everything. I mean, it, they would hit the regulator. They'd hit the handle. If you put it one way, they'd hit the inlet hose. Uh, you pretty much had to put it on one specific way. And I seen some guys do it. And what they'd done, they took a Sharpie and marked where the, the lid goes, which that'll work. It, that'll work just fine. But one thing that I do know is when you get a, a lot of, uh, just like the T on it, and it's sticking out, and then you put your... Uh, uh, inlet on it and it gets longer that creates a fulcrum and all it takes is a, a little pressure to start breaking those fittings off uh, those connections because you're putting a lever on them and they could hit something and that those break easy but the main thing i ain't worried too much about that I, it's just in the way it's too many fittings you know like this you had to put a cap on it and cap that off so you don't even need that one outlet uh, so i just done away with all of that uh, the one thing it probably could use is just a, a T right here where you could put the uh, the pressure release valve on it. The reason I don't have that on this one is because it was the one that came with the pot was defective. It would get up to about 30 PSI, uh, start leaking, and then around 32 it it would pop open. So that's why I don't I would I would have had the T on here. Because it, this pot comes with the T. I had everything on it you had to, to do do all this. The only thing I had to buy was uh, this ball valve and this uh, uh, quick quick disconnect. And I bought a uh, three eighths to quarter inch reducer, which goes in this. That's where the paint outlet was at. So I put a, and it's a three eighths inch so hole threaded hole. So I put the reducer in it. Took the uh, gauge right off of this monstrosity put it right there uh i don't think you need uh this reduce pressure reducer on your pot because you're filling it i'm filling mine from my tank which has one on it already uh I, you know you do need the gauge basically just to make sure you ain't leaking pressure out of it that's about the only thing you need it for uh like i said the safety valve would be you know, you, you throw it on there. I don't think you have to have it. Uh, if you cannot put 50 to 55 PSIs in this pot without overfilling it, uh, you probably don't need to be messing with it in the first place. But that's a, there, there mine is down dirty simple. You don't have all the uh, hoo lolly gadgets all over it. <laughs> it's just a simple, simple connections. Simple gauge, and there it is.